530. Channel 3's Aya Galal is showing us some cleaning products approved to help kill the virus. But we start with Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Courtney Zeller. She's in New Haven, where school officials are talking about the travel concerns tonight. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Mark. You know, some big decisions these school districts have to make. Do they cancel these trips that are coming up fairly shortly? Do they reschedule them? So that's what was discussed here in New Haven. I can tell you uh, New Haven's interim superintendent mentioned today there are grave concerns about sending students on these trips for New Haven. There are a handful of trips coming up for students, and I can tell you today what a tough decision uh, for these board members to make. They are not taking this lightly, that's for sure. Okay, let's go to that video because they just wrapped up this special emergency meeting about uh, 10 minutes ago. There is a trip scheduled for tomorrow for some students here in New Haven. It's a three-day trip to Vermont. Board members decided that is still on, but next month there is a trip scheduled for Costa Rica and then another trip for Italy and Greece. So they've already decided to cancel Italy, so students will just go to Greece. However, nothing has been decided on these international trips today. As some of these board members say, they want to wait as recommendations from the CDC keep changing. They decided to bring this up at another meeting on March 9th. Now, keep in mind, there are travel alerts for some countries, including Italy. Here's uh, what the city's local health department had to say today. I honestly would recommend that we take into consideration um, the, the travel advisory, as I mentioned with CDC, and also looking at the, um, the levels that, that are changing daily. So as you, as you know, Italy was just at level two and, and, in and increased to level three over the weekend. So to um, really monitor the, that daily because it <laughs> changes. And this subject is on the radar of a lot of schools. I just heard back from the superintendent in West Hartford. He tells me they are negotiating with tour companies right now as they are planning to cancel their trips. Uh, in Southington, the superintendent mentioned uh, they are waiting to make a decision. For them, it's still about six weeks out, and they want to find the best option for parents because keep in mind, a lot of these trips have been paid in full, and they have to work out insurance and all that kind of stuff. So we, of course, will keep you posted as soon as we know what uh, each district is doing. For now, we're live at the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Courtney Zeller, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.